Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. The Pac-Man is here. The fever subsided, but guess what? It is revved up again for another JustRipIt.com show. So welcome. I am the box-breaking, wax-tearing, as you can see, the cello-ripping Pac-Manian devil. And I'm here to educate, as I always do every Tuesday and Wednesday. I'm here to entertain, give everybody some chuckles, some laughs. You know, Monday blues are gone. Thank God for Monday Night Football. But I'm also here to have you have a chance, like we did last week, if you didn't see it yet, pull the card of a lifetime. And that card of a lifetime last week wasn't once, but twice. Two Jim Browns last week. Our YouTube video and Facebook video is off the hook. A lot of views. Share the views. It was just a historic night, whether you were in it or not. It's what the whole site is based on, is opening up old packs, ripping them, cracking them, ripping them, showing them, and shipping them. That's what we do here every week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and sometimes an emergency rip on a Thursday. That's what we're all about. Uh, great week last week. We had a 58 charity pack that yielded a Jim Brown, and we had a 58 equity pack that yielded a Jim Brown, Johnny Unitas, a New York Giants team, several other really nice cards. Go watch. We have a rip clip. We have this exclusive opening of the pack, and we also have the full show, and you can fast forward to your favorite parts there. But great night. Lots of emails. I was interviewed three times this week by local uh, radio stations, some newspapers about the excitement and what the equity pack is. So if you see them up there and the packs are gone, you're going to know why. That's how it is. Andrew Loveridge, welcome to JustRipIt.com, my friend. There you are. Delon Davis, great polls last week. You're echoing me, my friend. There were some great ones. Michael Jordan was overshadowed by the Holy Grail, the rookie card of a 1958 Jim Brown. And I don't want to get too ahead of myself, but Pac-Man ain't stopping with this 58 cello pack. We'll go over that a little bit later. Absolutely. We have another charity pack. The veterans, I heard, were all happy. They're going to get a check because part of the net proceeds go from any charity pack to Victory for Veterans based in New Jersey. It's getting to get cold up there. And these veterans who fought for this country need gloves, scarves, derbies, hats, earmuffs, everything. It helps them out. I enjoy doing it. They watch the show. They're, they're happy. Uh, it's just a fantastic situation there. Jason, why is that font is so small? Jason Chrisette? A woo to you. I, I got to get my eyes checked. This is like the last level of the eye chart. I, I, maybe the eye, the ripper's eyes can't go. All right. We got a big show tonight. I'm going to go over some new packs that we just listed. A 75 rack pack, 42 cards, one cent per card because it's 49 cents. Now that was, that was 45 years ago. $45 a card. You got Tom Terrific on front. I'm not going to show the back, but there's a Hall of Famer on the back. So you got to maybe freeze it and see it. Thanks for tuning in. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. So we're opening one of the, we're opening a uh, cello pack tonight, but we just listed this. Get in there. 42, uh, it's uh, 38, 20, 10 left. Gone. That's what it's going to happen. Trust me. 
uh, a new venture. Try to put some other uh, low price packs, a 1980 top cello pack. And if you know base stealing, Ricky Henderson and a 10 were at 24,000. Nolan Ryan, he's like in every baseball pack. He's probably in a soccer pack worth money because the guy is just phenomenal. Uh, Jim Palmer, a lot of good Hall of Famers in here. Only $14.50 a card. Get a Ricky Henderson, you're looking really good. We just listed that with some introductory people that want to get involved uh, with just rip it and want to just test the waters. We also are going to be listing a 1977 Topps football. This one here is a wax pack featuring Walter Payton, Harry Carson, Walter Payton's second year worth about 6000 Leroy Selman, a lot of Hall of Famers in here. It's a fun pack. Getting, we'd like to creep up a little bit so some of the people that aren't as old as some of us older guys I was like 12 years old back then. Good pack. Needless to say, let's get ready for some football. That will be on the site as well. James Crisette. Yep, I got you. Charlie. Charlie. Charlie gets two a woos to you, to our Ripit community. Outpouring emails. I want to thank everybody. Some of the equity pack holders were traveling. They were on the road. They didn't have a chance even to see the video for a couple days later. And I'm like, wow. It's just great because it's going to live on and on. And when those we have a grade parade tonight, but when those 58s come back, that's going to be a big grade parade because the equity pack holders will then figure it all out there. Speaking of the equity packs, we listed a few more. Let's scroll up there. Well, the the, the one of the one of my favorite packs right here, the 57 cello. What a pack. Second series. 20 shares, or I'm sorry, 25 shares, 4%, 375 a share. Mickey Mantle could be in here, Warren Spahn, Don Larson. Go check the listing out. Maybe I, we couldn't split it anymore. We were thinking about it, but maybe if you want to get in with a buddy, it, it's just a great pack. This is going to be a, a historic pack. These 57s, some of these other packs I do buy at the CVS drugstore. Like the 65 cello, I was there buying some cotton balls and I saw that next to the bubble gum. But they, they, these are very extremely rare. And the fact that it's a second series, meaning that Mickey Mantle could be in there, just adds more flavor. Seven left, could dig a week or two. I love it on the site. I always say that. And then it goes 12 cards, very fun. The new ones I listed. Just had this. I didn't buy this at the CVS, by the way. A very rare 1965 Philly football wax pack. Five cards. I don't know if the tattoos are really worth anything, but we include the wrapper and all these equity packs. Some big cards in here. We made this, little, again, we're, we're thinking lower end. A lot of people may not have the deep pockets, but $95, sub $100, $95 gets you a 5% share in this pack, which could contain our friend Jim Brown. We're going to pull him in every series, so maybe he's in here. He's worth 10000 even in 1965 Philly. Uh, Mel Renfro, Paul Warfield, a lot of big stars in here. Go check out the listing. We just listed it pre-show time. You get 190 points right back, and it's a fun pack, and we're into football, as you know. And speaking of football, this will be our second one. This is my last one. This is a 1954 Bowman football, seven cards in this pack. 20 shares. We're down to 19. We listed this yesterday. Uh, George Blanda, rookie card, 25,000. Showing a lot of George Blanda lately with the Raiders and Hard Knocks and AB and all that. Frank Gifford, YA Tittle, 5,000 in the 10. A lot of stars in here. Very rare pack. Clean pack. Look, not a blemish on it. It came back in nine. I can't wait to open this. The pack looks, I kind of peek here too, but you can see no, just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Joseph Aces Jr. He was in that equity pack last week. Yes, absolutely welcome there. Ronnie Jones. The magic fingers are here. Some people are like, oh, he's handling the card for too long. Eight seconds. It's like when you drop something on the ground, you got to pick it up and eat it before. I let it breathe a little bit like a bottle of wine. Ten seconds of air right into the card saver, right to the grading company. Penny sleeves. Corbett. If you want a penny sleeve, call the graders. Ask them when you send their cards why they don't want the penny sleeves. You'll, you'll know why. Some cards, like the Chrome, can go in there, not the other ones. Tuning in from Florida. 
Oh, man. Nice and, nice and toasty down here. Either way, these are equity packs. Uh, oh, and oh, how did I even forget the granddaddy? The granddaddy of them all. My mom gave you that name. The great card. Oh, Mr. Magic. Ronnie Jones' his mom. Two woos. Because Mr. Magic Fingers is here. And oh, yeah. They, they go from cracking that case to ripping away. And then we rip, show, and ship. Our shipping's really good. They're really good. Now, this is a, a GAI really put this like in a Picasso type frame here. But this is, yes, it is, a 1955 Bowman Baseball Wax Pack. Nine cards for you equity holders. Nine. That's pretty good. And that, and the wrapper. The wrappers are worth money. They're worth money. The gum, we throw away. Sorry, gum's worth nothing. Only resealers want the gum so they can reseal a pack and sell it to some poor, innocent soul on eBay. Uh, in this pack, Mickey Mantle. Oh, we haven't opened too many Mickey Mantle packs. So, like Jim Brown, they're going to come in droves. And I have a feeling if he's in here, his 10 could be worth eighty to $100,000. That is fantastic. Uh, Hank Aaron, Ernie Banks, big cards in here. It's a GAI 7.5. It's a very nice pack. It's it's sitting on some type of styrofoam. It's nestled in there. So that's it, folks. Those are our equity packs. We're going to list a couple more. We're trying to spread it out to every sport. Let's put those away for safekeeping as well. All right, keeping up with the chat. Roy Grist, what's up, my people? And a woo to you, Roy. Roo and Harry Cassup always gets a... Double woo, because Hurricane Harry is in the house tonight. And the wheel, thank you, Harry. The wheel, the wheel. Spend $75 and get a free wheel spin. Three spin max. You can spend 75 once or three times or two and a quarter. Here's the wheel tonight. The proverbial free spin. The top prize is a 1973 Topps Baseball 4th Series. We got some wrestling set breaks. We got the beautiful JRI binder right here. You get a nice binder to put the cards in. Put cards in me. Put cards in me. That's right. Got to keep them safe. Shoe boxes don't cut it nowadays. They get destroyed. Uh, 85 wrestling packs and points. Uh, good prizes on there. Excellent stuff. Just as a token of our appreciation for making the purchase. And we say you're going to make a purchase anyway. Do we have to do this? No, but we do it anyway because it's just fun. We like to spin the wheel, and we like to add more excitement to the show. Jeremy Voss, welcome, and hello, Rippet Crew. Yes, everyone's joining. Feels like we haven't gone live in a long time. It's absolutely crazy. Okay, there's the wheel. 75 or more, free wheel spin, three spin max. Get some points, get some prizes, get some packs. Get a free entry and a card as well. Speaking of free, our giveaways. Don't forget, anybody new in the room, maybe they haven't chimed in, they're not used to all the excitement, create an account, spend $100 or more if you're new or if anybody in the room tells your friends, you get 500 points and you get 10% off for subscribing to our newsletter and our YouTube channel as well. Uh, let's see, our promo, we started last week, money in the bank, 50 spots, 34 left. 34 left. First prize does get in here a signed contract by me giving you a free card box. Anything you want on the site for free right there. It could be an equity share. You could be in that 57 or if it's sold out by then, anything else. Second prize and third, you get some wrestling packs. Good stuff. Three spots per customer, but it's every 125 you spend. So Spend 125 three times, you get three entries. Break up the order. That works out well. Wheel of Fortune. That's right, Andrew. That's right. Harry, two times Tuesday. We didn't do it today because there's going to be some special weekend post show. We're talking maybe two times Thursday, maybe three times Thursday, maybe weekend double points. Trying to spread out the whole ordeal here, but look for that coming soon as well. Uh, a lot there. We're working on more giveaways. Money in the Bank 34 left. Our non-sport giveaway is only two spots left. Oh, this could be random off tonight. 
Spend $65 or more on any non-sport, Batman, Superman, Garbage Pail Kids, uh, the Star Wars, Civil War. We had a Civil War giveaway last week, and we have a great brave one. Nice, one came back pretty nice. Uh, two left, you win this PSA 9, three Stooges, number 63 card, only two spots left. One person out of 10 wins it, any non-sport. And the box breaks is a rip card giveaway, 15 spots total, not 100, not 300, not 1,000, only 15 people, that's all we want. 15 good rippies in there, seven left, so eight are in, spend $45 or more on any box break, some good boxes out there, Rivers, rookie card, the GOAT, Tom Brady's rookie card, LeBron, go check them out. Bellinger, who's gonna win the MVP for the Dodgers, we have his possible throw uh, box. Only seven left, you win this 2008 C, C, see how much weight I gain, Sabathia, rip card, number the 75, you win it, you get it, we will rip it right here where those little hands are, and in there could be, check it out, an authentic Allen and Ginther red autograph, a, one, a, a wood parallel, a Dick Perez sketch card, an exclusive mini parallel, and we have a grade parade tonight, and our Nolan Ryan came back from our other rip card, and we'll show that shortly also. So there's our promotions, Cardboard Insanity, Woo! sip it for me, you don't have to ask more than once. Oh boy, that was good. That was a good sip because we're getting ready to rip after that sip. Our first pack right here. A GAI 9 1975 Topps Baseball Cello Pack with Bill Butler on top. The butler did it. The butler did it. And we don't know. So I covered the, pro the giveaways. I covered the equity packs. I covered our new packs. A lot of packs up there. Sell out tonight. We will open. Can you see through the card? Just curious, which card? Can you see through the card? Now, some of the wax wrappers you can see through. That's how they develop what series they are, or by the front and back by the numbers. That I always know they do from there. Uh, okay. Yes siree. Okay, let's get ready to do the 75. Cello, and again, this is on the wheel tonight. We got some good, after this pack, we got our grade parade. We have an equity pack. We got some wrestling, some non-sport, and some other cards. So if you want anything, we said we're going to grade it. We got another batch coming next week. We just keep recirculating them through. Uh, maybe you'll see some of your cards. Can you see, oh, the back of the rip card? Oh, no, no. I tried. I held it up to the light. You just can't. It's, they're, it's tops, and they're not going to make it that easy. Back in the old days, they you could see through the wrapper. I used to remember buying wax wrappers in the store, and I would try to see who was in there. You had, you know, you're, you had 20 cents to your name, and you want to make sure you get the next pack. Okay, without further ado, 75 Baseball Cello. Let's load up the board. We got 75 there. Okay, let's randu. Let's do some randu. Anything else having trouble with the website? Keep getting an error. Error on the website, anyone? We'll check it out. We'll check it out. So we've been getting a lot of orders, been getting very busy. A couple good pulls and then a couple of press coverages and press releases. Oh boy. Gonna have to really run the Walgreens to pick up some more. Can't seem to get on the site. Don Garrett. Okay. We'll work on that. Have a little patience. Because we're gonna ran do the list ten times for this pack while everybody is waiting. Yeah, Jeremy Voss, same here. Okay. Let's do the ran do ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten spot. Jeremy Top, Andrew Loveridge, the last card. Let's load those up to the list. Whoa, whoa, Nelly. Whoa, Nelly. Whoa. Let's 
make it a little smaller. And we'll shrink it again. And we'll shrink it again. How are we going on the camera? Well, we're getting a lot of errors. We will fix that. But boy, when these orders come through, whoop. Our support team is working on that right now. Okay. Call me Randu. Oh, the yeah. I think I got a Rondo with a Celtic. It's Randu. Mr. Randu. Okay, no Clippers needed here. Let's see. 1975. And this could be no one. Oh, this 75. They're getting tougher to find. The rack pack's up there. So I know there's 42 cards. Uh, get in there because no one Ryan. Is up to 30,000 now. Yount 28, Brett 20,000. And those are the top three. They got Mike Schmidt in fourth at 14,000. And Reggie, Hank, uh, All Star, Thurman Munson, Stargell, Winfield, Rose, Jimbo Rice, Gibson, Palmer, Carew, Tom Seaver, all two to 6,000. Actually, Tom Seaver's on a rack pack on the front. And just a whole host. Key, Mickey Mantle, MVP cards, rookie series. Uh, up to 8,000, 41 Hall of Famers in this 75 set. One of my personal favorites, 10 years old, 25 cents. Raked a lot of lawns to get a couple dollars from those, those, those cheap neighbors. Remember, he used to bust your ass shovel, shoveling eight feet of snow. Ah, uh, here's $3, like $3, a lot of money back then. No, it wasn't $3, 12 packs of the 75 cello. That's what I'm talking about. Wish I had those cards now. Let's open this up. We'll get that site up. That means the ripper is going to have to do a little extra sipping because there's going to could be a flood of waters coming in and that wheel is going to be spinning. It's going to fall off the thing there. Another GAI. GAI is not in business anymore. Very reputable grader back in the day. They don't do it anymore. Uh, and we keep opening them. They're going to be extinct soon. That's why. Stay by another GAI. After this is our gray parade. Reggie Jackson, I know you're right. You're right. I mean, Yount yeah, Brett, I understand, but you know, come on, Ray, Reggie's just the man. Oh, and it's so oh, speaking of Reggie. Well, let me concentrate and get this pack out. I'm gonna snip here. A lot of vasectomy snips going on here. Not even wearing the goggles. Where's my head at? It's fun and games, they get a piece of sharp plastic right into the retina. If there's a Reggie Jackson in here. If I pull a Reggie Jackson, I did before, and I thought, you know what? Here's an un... It's not graded, but it is unsearched and sealed. There's a candy bar in there. If we get a Reggie bar, I will take a bite out of this. I'll try, as long as it's not emulsified chocolate lava. I think the site's back up. Everyone go in there. Gene Prescott. Woo! What's up, my friend? How you doing there? David St. Pierre. Woo! There you go. David St. Pierre, if I pull a Reggie, I will take a bite. And whoever gets the Reggie gets the one of three edition limited cards from Upper Deck for free. Probably has some chocolate stains on it. And if I don't yuke after taking a bite of this, the wrapper will be yours too. So whoever gets that Reggie card has a little extra bonus. Holy cow. Is right. Okay, let's get a ripping. We are back up, so three spin, three, $75 or more, and you get a free wheel spin, three spin max, get some extra points, get into a set break, good stuff. Let's open up this graded, unsearched, and sealed, 75, and good luck, everybody. We pulled a Brett, we pulled a Yacht, we pulled a Ryan already, and we just got to keep pulling more. There's a lot of gum, gum uh, residue coming out of here. I'll try to save this. Wrapper. I don't know why. Give it to somebody. Again, if you're a new customer, play, make sure you register. You get points. Subscribe to our newsletter. We're going to be doing some type of triple or double points. So make sure you're fully aware. Oh, I see some green and brown in there. That is the Robin Young color. Brett, I believe, is green and purple. 
I saw the write-up. Nice article. Thank you, David. There's a couple more coming out, too. Uh, a radio station in Dallas, and I think ESPN is a local radio station around here. i got to recontact them. Uh, Sports Collectors uh, Daily did a nice article. Follow us on Facebook. You'll see the article. Uh, Instagram and Twitter, we're building up there, but subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's important. And what's more important is, number one, Jeremy Melton. The butler did it. J Bill Butler, pitcher for the Twinkies. Card number one of 18 or more. Bill Butler. Number two, Jeremy Melton. Tom Carroll. Cincinnati Reds. And there's the back. Handle these very, very gently. Very gently. Andrew, those Reggie bars, remember the, the Yankee game? They used to, they, they, gave, they were so stupid in the Bronx. They, they gave out Reggie bars, and then the fans would just throw them all on the field. And they probably picked them up and resold them again. Number three, Gary Marks. You get Ron Bryant. Ron Bryant, pitcher for the Giants. Trying to find the link to pay y'all for the C3P. I think it's, uh, somebody will help you out with that. Your dad's name is Bill Butler. That is funny. That is funny. We're going to have a community once in a while. If you want a card, we can maybe put you in contact with the winner of the card. If there's something that you, could be more, more to you than somebody else. Number four, Gary Marks. Bill Travers. Looks a little, a little strange here, Bill Travers. Okay, four in. Looking for some Hall of Famers. Uh, we'll check those for you, Gene. I, I'll check those. Uh, we're showing a Civil War graded card later. That wasn't yours. We're still sifting through those. Number five, Jeremy Melton. Eduardo Rodriguez. Eduardo, a little miscut on the bottom there. All right. What's with the Brewers? If you want a Brewer, you want uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Young. 75 rookie infielders, number six, Morris. Morris, Morris, Morris. Who do we have on here? Mike Cubbage, Reggie Sanders, damn, Manny Trio, and Doug DeCenses. Four guys, one shot there. Very nice. Card number 617. Okay, put that in there. Let's go. Number seven. Getting a little antsy here. Number seven, Jeremy Melton. Mac Scarce. Scarce? This card's not scarce. If this card was scarce, it'd be worth some money. I'd be sounding the horn. Mac Scarce. Grant McCurdy Scarce. Guy's got some problems with his name. I don't know. Let's mark this gum and toss it. Ooh, get this off there. Ooh, a very friendly piece of gum. Not too bad. Seventy-five. Not having a little fun time here. I sweat. I need a sip. Halfway, almost halfway. Yes, the Aussie, yes. And we're a uh, little rumbling. There could be another pack with an Aussie in it. Sifting through the packs as we speak. Number eight, Jeremy Melton. Kevin Koval. Another brewer. What, what is this? The brewer's pack? Is this the brewer team pack? A little bit of gum residue. That usually falls off after breathing air. Okay, so number one brewer, two brewer, three brewers. Okay. Oh, number nine, Mark Yelly. Number nine, I said this guy earlier was the number four guy in the set, and I present you Mr. Mike Schmidt. And then you know what there, Mark Yelly? I'm Yelly at Yelly, because that looks pretty good. Oh, man, that is really nice. Good old grizzly-looking Mike Schmidt there. Little OC on the back, Michael Jack Smith. You get Jack Squat and his pack until Mike Schmidt came along, and we'll take him in a 10, 14,000. There's my 10 seconds is up. 
gently into the card saver. Mr. Schmidt, hey, everybody, everybody, the community, take a look. Grading companies, you're watching this live. This is getting graded, I'll tell you that. Back, they give a little leeway on the back, so not too bad. Schmidt is, that sip helped us get a Schmidt for the Philly. Very nice. Mark Yelly. Boom. Oh, that felt nice. Okay, let's keep it going. Maybe they'll come in clunks. John St. Martin. Holy Brewers. Yeah. Miami Vice. Miami Vice. My, yeah, great center. Very nice card. Very, very nice. Yeah, see, you got, it's all these borders here. There and there. Top to bottom. That looks good. It looks good. Oh, we got a spin update. A little temporary pause here. Spin update. Jeremy Voss, two spins for JV. Junior Varsity, Jeremy Voss, one, two. Right after this pack, the wheels of Rip get a ripping and going. Number 10, John St. Martin. George Foster. That looks nice, too. The pack, that is real. Look at the color. A lot of chips on these cards. Not when they're packed fresh. No siree. George Foster, number 87. I will check here. Georgie Porgy. Right, everybody can take a look at Georgie Porgy. 87. Eh. What, what are we getting spoiled? We pulled a couple of Jim Browns last week. That could be worth a lot. Five-figure cards. And I'm not even making a $325 here in a 10 for Georgie Porgy here. George Foster, part of the big red machine. Slight OC, but they give a little OC on the back. That, that, that's nice there, old George. I'll take $325. That's what we're talking about. All right. I could spoil if you were Jim Brown, Unitas, and big cards. Some of these other cards are worth some ish. 82 wrestling on the site, or is that somewhere? No, it's way at the bottom, like at the bottom of the ring. More set breaks on the menu, and they're coming. We're putting together a couple of more. The wrestling was almost like a little tester. Gene Mop, Expo Manager, team card. And I guess the top to bottom, i got to check that. But I know the bottom's got to be fatter than the top because they have to put the name and the big mug shot of Gene Mop there. 79 sold out. 79 sold out. 101. Again, we... The, ripper, the Ripper's getting a little spoiled here. With, you pull, like I said, Jordan and Brown and this and that. $525 in a 10. And like I said, even if it's not a 10, in raw condition, the, what they're telling you is it's a very hard card to find. But it's the Expo team. Uh, card number 101, $501 back in 2017. So we're going to check that. Can't say it's off center, top to bottom, because of the picture and the giant Expo name. So they couldn't. You know, the Expos would be cut in half. Very nice. Well, Packers are really just taking a nice little turn here. Number 12, Jason Aroldo. It's a nice roll, roll. Dave Duncan. Like a circle. Nicely centered, but a little off top to bottom. Frog is hopping around, and he's not saying rip it. Rib it, I mean like a frog. He's saying rib it. Rib it. Rib it. I don't know what we're doing with that frog yet. Any suggestions what to do with the frog? Email us at support at justrippit.com. So look for some ideas to incorporate the ribbit frog. Number 13. That was 12. Yeah, Jason. Number 13 is Jeremy Melton. You get Dick Drago. Dick Drago. How come I think of Drago? I think of Rocky. Wasn't it Ivan Drago? I will break you. All right, a little top to bottom there, Dick Drago. A lot of cards in the set, so you really come across some really obscure, strange people. I don't know. I can't even tell you who they are or what they're doing now. We're going to go live. Number 14, DJ. Welcome, DJ. You get Horatio Pena. And I think that's the first. We pulled a lot of 75. That's the first Horatio Pena we have ever had. Very nice. Horatio. I will check all these. You know, I just had a kicks. I hate this. Sometimes you just, you just think it's Horatio. Everybody's like, ah, what a piece of crap card. But you know what? Never underestimate the cardboard because we always check the price. 
on what they are in a 10. <laughs> no Hall of Fame. Just not really a pleasant looking guy to look at. Oh, hey, I can't even hold the card. Uh, doesn't look that bad. You know, we're making fun of the, the poor bastard Horatio, uh, number 14 for DJ, but Horatio, $461 if it came back at 10. And I don't know if it's a 10, but don't give up on any of these players. If you can't pronounce their name, who they are, 10s are worth money. Nines could be also. That's what's important. 15, double T, Ted Thomas, big. They always refer to him, big John Mayberry. Again, beautiful colors, beautiful corners, pack fresh. Number 95, Big John Mayberry. That's how the Yankees, well, Rizzuto used to always say that. About 200 bucks in a 10. Rounding it out, number 16, Matthew Baker. Tigers, Ralph Houck. We, I think we have one, one of him in one of our uh, old packs. Detroit Tigers. Card number 18 with a nice clean checklist on the back. They're not marked because these are packed fresh. Little off center, top to bottom. I got to get to checking these prices. Yeah, two hundred dollars in a ten. Back five years ago. Ralph Houck. That's probably why. Number seventeen. Our third team card. Earl Weaver. We knew he was coming in. Wow, it looks pretty nice too. Number seventeen. Jeremy Melton. That's a nice card right there. Number one seventeen. Some great players on that. Get all 24 team checklist. 24 teams. Look to be a little left to right. So just let's see what they give Earl Weaver here. If it were a 10. $724. Little left to right though. Boy. Come on, man. 58. We're pulling beautifully centered cards. A little bit off. But the hope is there. Like I said, down the road. And number 18, rounding out, Andrew Loveridge. You get Jim Longborg. Phillies. Rounding out. Which wasn't that too bad of a pack. A couple of guys that we never heard of. Worth some money. Three team cards. Orioles, Tigers. That's Horatio again, which is funny. Horatio. Expo card. George Foster. And, of course, Chief Pull of the Pack, Mike Schmidt. That's why... It's hard to buy the whole pack, but in this case, Mark Yelly bought one entry, and he got the best card in the pack. And that's what makes Just Rip It so fun, because you buy the whole pack, you're getting Mike Schmidt. You buy one card for poof, like almost practically a great deal, and you get that there as well. Okay, we got another spin there. We got Don Garrett, Donnie G. I'm happy about the spins, because I know the site's working. Let's give out some dividends for that. Five people get the dividends. Let's go back to the Randu. Randu. Let's randomize it. One time. One. One time on the Randu. One. John St. Martin. 400 points, and Jeremy Melton with us, almost a sweep. Second, third, fourth, and fifth. 300, 200, 100, and 100. Five, six, 700 points for Jeremy, and 400 for John St. Martin. Sometimes they get spread out the wealth, and sometimes certain people get it. In case you're new, at the end of every pack, we give out the top three to five people, whether it's five cards or up to 25 cards. Uh, points at the end is a consolation to get involved. And more graded packs. Reggie Bar goes away. No Reggie. But we have a 72 rack up there. 42 cards. I better make sure I don't eat too much before the show. When that one happens. Okay. All right. Let's do some spinning. And then we got a grade parade. And then we got some more packs to get prepped and opened up. Let's see. Jeremy Voss. You have two spins. Let's get to the wheel, and let's let the wheel of rip rip. Good luck there, Jeremy. Wow, the top prize, a 73 Topps Baseball Fourth Series. I believe that could be down to maybe four now after that. Good, good spinneroo there. Here is your second spin. 
or more, because we have the three spin again. 250 points and a card from the 73 set break. Very nice. Excellent job there, Jeremy. Now we go to Don Garrett. You got your free spin coming up on the wheel of rip. Didn't give Jeremy the drum roll, and he got the best card, best wheel on here. Good luck, Donnie G. Here we go. Hey, 1980 Tots baseball card. Maybe it's a Ricky Henderson. And you will always remember you got that card for free for a wheel spin. Or a Nolan Ryan. I'd love to get a nice 1980 Nolan Ryan. They all start to look a little older. Okay. Thank you, everybody, for that pack. We'll let everybody know that Mike Schmidt looks pretty darn good. So does Foster and a couple others. We'll let you know based upon our grading free expertise whether we should have them graded. Okay. Let's get ready for the grade parade. If spend 75 or more, you get a free wheel spin. Three spin max. So every 75 or a combined order of 225 will get you three. 150 will get you two uh, spins as well. Uh, make sure you share all our videos. We appreciate it. People will appreciate it too. You're not bothering them. You're probably showing them a good time with some videos. And give it a thumbs up too once in a while. It helps out a little bit. And, you know, a couple more customers. We sell a lot of things quicker. We just do more ripping. Keep working down the line. I got a lot of grading. I, I got such a big grade parade. Thank God college football started. Because there is a lot of cars to show. And there are some doubles, but we know whose cards are who. We have them on film. We know which ones are off center, left to right, or top bottom. Um, but let me go over these after I do a little bit of minor cleanup and we get ready for the next pack. Okay, our grade parade. If you're new here, get a little sip, a little, a little intermission. Ah, just sip it, baby. You got to just keep sipping it. You got to. Okay. Great parade is if we feel a card is a Hall of Famer, if it's well-centered, if it's worth apparent value, we will grade it on the house for you. We will show it, and we will ship it to you as well. Um, it's a, a special feature we do here to avoid you from filling out these contracts and paperwork and mailing it and insuring it, and they get to the grader, and you get it back, and you're waiting by the mailbox, and it comes all destroyed. It's just a d disaster. Um, so we do that on the house. Sometimes uh, we just throw a couple in there. I, I got to be honest, sometimes if it's near crunch time, sometimes we want to uh, at least send at least like 20 cards in and we're at 19. So we're like, eh, let's throw that one in. So we're not all of it's judgmental. Uh, our first gray parade is going to be a equity pack. Um, those of you who were in it knew uh, it wasn't to our standards. So we had a little, you know, we did a little, you know, a little, you know, a little side. We got a hold of some people there. Uh, you'll see. Uh, on this grade parade, I'll rip through it. It was a 1966 Tops pack. And let the grade parade begin now. This was the rub off. Came back in A for authentic of Johnny Orsino. There's Johnny. This was the Jim Fergosi pack. He came back a four. A 1966. John Boozer, no relation to Emerson Boozer of the Jets, two and a half. A Brave card came back five and a half. Phil Regan came back a five. Joe Christopher came back a five. Freddie Be My Valentine came back a six. Bob Aspromonte came back a five. It's like a bug shot for prison. Al McBean came back a four. The off center, Larry Stoll, Rob Tompkins, rookie star, came back a three. Calvin Coots came back a five and a half. Johnny B. Good, Johnny Lewis of the Mets came back a six. Woo. Gary Geiger came back a five. Our equity pack wasn't one of our best ones. We reached out to everybody. We made, we did the right thing. But we got them graded anyway. This was our charity pack. We graded them even if they were ripped in half and creased and marked. It was a charity pack. Because it was a charity pack, we said grading for free every card. Mike Baxis came back at two. Another Ken Espermonte came back at two. 
Senators came back at four. Centering issues, Jackie Jensen, three and a half. Gus Zerniel came back at three and a half. Smokey Robinson Burgess came back at three. Will Bob, Bob Will, three and a half. We had a whammy, a granny, came back at two. Yeah, whammy, I remember this. Whammy, a granny. Buck Hill Aces came back at five, probably one of the nicer cards from the top of the pack. Bob Miller, a four. And Clem Levine came back at seven on our 59 Tops Fit Series. Very tough centering issues. Charity pack. Okay, let's see. Let's go. Non sport came back. Guess what? This electric bill is going in the mail. You know who you are. Eight and a half garbage pail kids. Squealers license on the back. We got two left on the pack up there. Let's go attack it. The knuckleheads came back at seven. Three stooges. Card number 60. 44. Came back at seven. A beautiful. Look how beautiful this looks in the case. A magical. SGC 8 Civil War attacked from behind. Uh, we opened this up a couple of weeks ago. It looks beautiful in there. I think it's like artwork. It really is like artwork. And another stooge, the Frankensteins there, seven and a half. That was card number 11. So if you're watching, you know who you are. They're coming out to you. Basketball, basketball. There's our Jabbar. We knew it was a little off center, but we got it graded because it's Kareem and he's got hairy underarms, so we wanted to put it in the case. Six and a half. One of two Charles Barkley. The mound of rebound, 87 clear sticker. Came back an eight. Great shot there. Team leader with Artist Gilmore came back at seven and a half. One big pro right there, Artist. Don't mess around with Artist. The other one was more off center. We know who you are. Six and a half for Charles Barkley. We're looking for tens in this, that 79 tops in Opeachy set. Seven and a half for Dennis Pop Band. Number 48, same six, Paul Woods. <clears throat> Record breaker, Brooks Robinson. And the 78 tops came back at eight. Really nice. A little off center on the back. That was the only issue. Could have been a 10. Nice shot of Sam McDowell. SGC 8. Tops number 511. Unblemished and beautiful. Sometimes you get a little, I don't know. I don't know. It's a little better than the 8 for me. Rocky Balboa. Nope. Rocky Blyer. 7.5. Pittsburgh Steelers. Big blocker for Franco. Very happy with this card. We're opening up in 1970, but David Lee came back in eight. Boy, it looks, looks very nice. You get it, whoever won that, you get it, you examine it as well. And hold that tiger, hold that thought. We have a 2006 Allen and Ginther box break up there. We sold that out. We have another one up there, but the person who got in that box break uh, remember his name? His name was uh, Adam. Adam. Adam pulled a pack out. He got a rip card. He got a rip card, and he told us to rip it. So we got a rip card. We ripped it, and we pulled out this unblemished SGC 9. Nolan Ryan, number 370. Not the regular mini. Nolan Ryan Mini Exclusive. Adam, congratulations. That's a nine. This is rare. Not too many tens even around in existence. Uh, beautiful, beautiful card. Good luck. You deserve it, and you'll enjoy it as well. Oh, going through a little trance. Wrestling cards. We give these out for free, ladies and gentlemen, for free. We grade them for free. We give them out as giveaways and promos straight down the line. And you know what? Not I, I got to alter the grade parade a little bit here because we just got to get into it. Right there. One of our Hulk Hogan's came back in eight. Again, it's free. The card's free. The pack was free. You got eight of the cards, a wrapper, and we graded. This comes back at 10, $300. Oh, maybe. Look at this one. If this came back at 10, it was over, I think, a couple hundred dollars as well. Look how beautiful that is. 
Hold on to that card. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. I think it could have been a nine and a half, but who am I? Another Hogan came back in eight. Hogan sticker, repack, regrade, eight and a half. And another one came back at six and a half. Again, if you're new, how much did those cards cost? Nothing. How much did it cost to grade? Nothing. How much are they worth? 50 to a couple hundred dollars. If these were, if this was a 10, it's worth a couple hundred. This one too, but this was the best right here. And I said that this card, I saw a 10. I don't have the price on me. I can double check it. Uh, let me know. But number 15, Hillbilly Jim and Hogan. What a beautiful card. Oh man, so close to a 10. That would have worked. But again, Allen and Ginter. And don't forget, we have a rip card too. One of those could be in there as well. 2008. Beautiful star. That is our grade parade. You'll get a nice shiny blue Just Rip It exclusive envelope with that card in there in the mail. So if your wife or kids are in there and they're throwing this around like a Frisbee, get in there and smack them around a little bit and make sure we get those cards into safe holding. Then go get them an ice cream cone. Makes a lot of sense as well. Okay. Let's see. John St. Martin, two spins. One, two. She should put JSN. It would be easier. Two spins there. We shall. Let's see. We have a 70. I think we'll do 70. Yeah, we'll do the 70. Then we got a 79. Okay. Coming up next is our 1970 Tops football. Very nice pack there. Let's see. John St. Martin. The frog is jumping. Let's give your spins out. Spend 75 or more. You get a free wheel spin. Three spin max per 75. 150. Two and a quarter. How about those Raiders last night? Okay. So I just throw that in there. Knock on wood. Be with me. If you follow the Raiders and some guy kind of left and they won the game anyway, knock on wood if you're with me. Gruden deserved it. Happy for him. Very happy. Back to the wheel. Drum roll for Mr. John St. Martin. Two spins, unless he gets the free spin. And good luck. And here we go. 250 points right back at you, right into your account. Good for any purchase of anything on just ribbit, like the frog says, dot com. Spinner number two. Ooh, another 250. Okay. 500 points coming your way, all on the house like a shingle or a piece of roof for you as well. Charles Rector, Woo! Woo! welcome to the Just Rip It community. Mr. Charles gets another Woo! Woo! We'll call him Charlie Rector because I'm very biased towards the name Charlie. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. And there we are. Okay. Charles, we'll get you that spin right after this next pack. SGC is being hard as I might be considered. Yeah, well, you know, listen, there's always a battle. That electric bill, that looked really good. Uh, we, we keep our fingers crossed. There's a big grading process. We do PSA. We do SGC. Didn't get, we don't get into the Beckett yet. I'm not a big, I don't know. I haven't gotten into Beckett yet. Maybe I'll put something. Who? Who? Rector? Rector, two spins. He gets a special woo, a new ripper. We love the growing community here of rippies coming into the house as well. Uh, I may make this a charity pack while I'm a little low here in 1964 Tops Baseball. I just got to help the vets out. This is a this is a, this is a good this is nice this is good could be a charity pack coming up. I am working on another 58. Woo, let's just not throw that much in. You know, I, I was a little timeout. I tried. I was gonna list it. The Black Triangle, Charizard, Japanese, Pokemon, this, uh, uh, all that. I, I gave up. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to do it. I, I just don't, I can't understand it. I, I don't, I don't play the game. There's a Pokemon tribe out there. I'll try to figure it out again, but I don't know. Charles Rector, again, another one we love first time. A virgin ripper. And I'll take a sip for you on my virgin bourbon. Ah, two spins for you there, Chalutes, number two. Okay, 
Let's get the next pack rolling here. 1970 Topps football. Very nice. A lot of people ask, like, when the pack sells out, we have over 70 items on the store. So they all get spread out. And then sometimes the whole cannibalization starts at one pack and it goes from eight to zero. And they're like, people don't even know we opened it because it happens very fast. There's no order when that happens. When it goes, it goes. Okay, 1970 Topps football wax pack. We had an eight for a giant last week. Let's get this loaded up. Into the Randu. We do what the Randu says. Ten cards, and there's an extra insert in each pack. That's a piece of styrofoam there. So, but we'll randomize the insert to one lucky winner. That will not be part of the break on this GAI eight and a half. Uh, there's a first and second series. Sometimes, if they can see through the wrapper, they will let us know. Apparently, here they couldn't. Must have been a little bit extra thick wrapper. So we got to say a Joe Namath or Joe Namath's worth 20000 OJ, the juice, worth eighteen. Good old aging Johnny U, only $4,000. Uh, only, right? Only for that. Len Dawson, Bob Greasy. Brian Greasy did a good job last night commentating on the second Monday Night Football game. I was impressed with him. Jan Stenery, Bart Starr, Lem Barney. Got to love the name Lem. Claude Humphrey, Zonka, Eller. Buckus, you know who Buckus played for. Buckus played for the Bears. Yeah, uh, the Bears, uh, Mr. Buckus. Only 263 cards. There is no 10 of O.J. Simpson. A 9 of Simpson or name that go for more than 1,000. Uh, the late Nick Bonacani is also in here. A little moment of silence for Nick Bonacani right there. Good, great player. A lot of travesty with his son. Mel Renfro, he's in our 50... He's in our 65 pack. Yeah, he's in there. Yeah, well, right, Renfro. Hunter Renfro. A lot of Renfros even in the NFL today. Okay, gather my thoughts. Oh, we got a Randu. We have a 75 football rack under five left. Yeah, that would be nice. Oh, the 75 football rack. Let me check that. Oh, there's only three left. 75 football featuring Swan, Fouts, and Theisman, one to five thousand dollars each is down to three. Oh, yeah, three left. $75 gets you, gets us to open that pack and a wheel spin. That's not that bad. We got nine on the Randu. Back to focus here. Focus, 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 focus. Randu, let's go nine times. Like Mr. Maris would say. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the money nine. Will Flores, the top card, Jeremy Melton, the last card. And of course, we will randu the extra insert, whatever that may be. Uh, Jeremy lost one, so Rector two. All right, the John Stinnett already. Right. Jeremy Voss gets one. Richter gets Rector. Rector, I think I'm Mike Richter. And John St. Martin gets. I didn't write him down. We did John St. Martin. Okay, we got Charles Rector two spins and Jeremy Voss one. Down to less than 35 cards. Fill up the set. Yeah, the Charles, there's a little production room for Charles in there, pushing out the crowd a little bit. He's like that jockey on that horse, whipping that horse. Come on, let's go, let's go. It's a more ripping. The more ripping, the better. Okay, where are we at here? Try that again. There we are. Let's get the customer list.
like magic. Every time, I lack the magic. Okay, gave you the highlights of this pack. 1970 Tops football. Let the goggle up. I didn't wear the goggles in my last one. And no one in the room reminded me. Let's rip it. Nice big fat pack in here, too. Alright, there's room here. A little vasectomy snip bit there. Yeah. Those plastic or not, stuff just throws a corner. One small incision here. I should really be Mr. Magic Fingers. That was monitored before like a surgeon. Okay. Next pack would be a 79. That's when the Ripper Clippers come out. That's for sure. Ooh, nice, clean, nice. Nice, nice, nice pack here. Very nice. That's good luck, everybody. M football. You know, everyone, someone was going 1 0, and somebody else was going 0 and 1. It means nothing. The Browns stink. The Jets blew it. It's early. Got a long way to go. Long way to go. <laughs> But it's football time, and here we are, baby. Will Flores, you get the top card, and Jeremy the last, and we will ran do that insert. And let's, we need the, we need the juice, even though I like to rather have name. It. They put the gum on the insert. Smart thinking. Don't destroy the cards. I have to deal with that later. It, it's not not a good sight there. It is not pretty. It's kind of oozing onto that. Not the cards though. Why this guy recognizing this? this? Card number one, Will Flores. You get Chris Amberger. Cheeseburger, cheeseburger, cheeseburger. No, how about Chris Hamburger, Hamburger, Hamburger of the Redskins? Card number 93. Hall of Famer. We'll take it. Let's get a little look on that centering for Mr. Will. A little OC left right. That's a Hall of Famer. Not too bad at all. We'll take that any day of the week. Number 93. Let's just quickly scan. We'll get prices of all tens. We hold nothing back here. Well, Pardon the interruption. And a 10, $900, Chris. So, not that bad. I wish the sending was a little bit better. Just a little bit better. Beautiful clean back. Very nice. Very, very nice there. Thank you for the card saver. Well, Chris there in a big, big ass jersey they used to wear back there. Chris Hamburger. Hall of Famer right off the top of the pack. We'll take it. Jeremy Melton, card number 53. Ooh, a little bit better centering. Bob Long. A little long in the tooth there, Bob. He is card number 53. 53 Bob Long. A couple hundred dollars in a 10. A little bit better than our Chris Ember. Nice clean back of Bob Long there. Just a, just, just a tad, tad off center. Just a little bit. Number three, Jeremy. Three for Jeremy. Tom Bayer. Card number 64. It says the Niners. It looks like the Dolphins jersey. Odd. Oh, I remember the Niners wearing turquoise. I doubt it's an error. I would have known that already. Just bizarre. Maybe they were that color, the Niners. Maybe they weren't the gold rush back then. Number four, Carl Hinton. Welcome, Carl. You get card number 125. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nice and slow. Nice and slow there. 
Who is this? Number four? Carl. That is Hall of Famer Deacon Jones. You can't even fit in the damn card. He's so big. 1,350 in a 10. Does not look that bad at all. Card number 125. Deacon. Look at the size of the guy. It barely fit into the globe of the pitcher. That looks pretty darn good there, number four, Carl Hinton. Hall of Famer Deacon Jones, 1,350 in the 10. We'll check the top to bottom. Needless to say, beautiful corners. You can see Deacon's whole face. You can see his fingerprints, the card's so clear. And a beautifully unmarked back as well. Wow. Second Hall of Famer. Second Hall of Famer, Deacon Jones, 1350. Very nice. Keep playing the music if it brings luck. That is for sure. That is for sure. Well, if two Hall of Famers were in and up, number three, Bob Lilly. If you're a Cowboy fan there, number five, Joseph Aces Jr., Bob Lilly, Bob Lilly Hall of Famer, card 87, last sold for $338. But Joseph, that was about seven years ago. So let's factor a little inflation there and we'll get a little price appreciation. Third Hall of Famer. I'm gonna take a closer look as well as our Rippet community. That is Big Bob Lilly. Only gets one hand in the picture. Not that bad at all. Wow. And the back looks probably the best center of the bunch. Left to right, top to bottom. And a nice cartoon. Joseph Aces Bob Lilly. Excellent job. Number six. Got a very serious Jim Bernie. Oilers. Let the music tone down and we get a Jim Bernie. Let me just see number 19. $200 five years ago. I think it looks a little top to bottom. Just a little. Three Hall of Famers. Could there be four? Of course there can. This is 1970, baby. People are oh, smoking Woodstock weed throwing Hall of Famers in all these packs. They didn't know what the hell they were doing back then. Who the hell knows? Number seven, Ricky Schiffauer. I like a new name there. You got Gary Garrison. A little chopped up top to bottom. 23 and a 10 close to 400, but that we can see top to bottom. Can't get them all centered nice. We're losing the centering here. Wasn't the Hall of Famers, but we're getting them. But still, a beautiful crisp card. These cards are crisp. The razor, the corners are razor. Number eight, Brian Zukowski. I love calling out that. Brian Z's been with us for a while. A little tough there. His head's off centered. You can see the top of his hair, and he's got a long chin. So is the card. The card's off centered. The guy's face is off centered. He's got three chins and a and a, and a forehead there. Oh, wow. Oh, number nine, Donnie Shockey. When I think of Donnie Shockey, I think of Jeremy Shockey. I don't know what it is. But I mentioned uh, the Sun calling the Raider game last night. It could it be? Hall of Famer, number four in the pack. That is Bob Greasy, Hall of Famer. Little off center, top to bottom, but that is Bob Greasy, whose last 10, a year and a half ago, $4,000 for Bob Greasy, which means a nine could be worth something, or a raw, pristine card, unblemished, front and back, with nothing but pure orange, blue, and shade. 4,000 in a 10. Donnie, 
that close, Tony. That close top to bottom, but we're still going to check it. We're still going to check it anyway. Great shot of Bob Greasy. Wow. Four Hall of Famers. Four Hall of Famers. <laughs> What a pack. Very nice. Everyone's complimenting everybody. Nice pack. Good stuff. Number 10, Jeremy Milton. Card number 35, Matt Snell, a good target of Joe Willie Namath. $200 in the 10. Again, a little top to bottom, but I got I to check these. Sometimes that is, that is centered. I'll check them all. But man, this was one hell of a pack. Look at the back of these things. The corner, the corners can actually, you can probably take this card and shave with it. It's, it's beautiful. What a beautiful pack. Number 10, last card. We had 10 cards, which is good. We don't know what the hell we were doing back then. Bob Greasy, Hall of Famer. Bob Lilly, Hall of Famer. The Deacon, Deacon Jones Hall of Famer. And we opened up with Chris Hamburger of the Skins. Four Hall of Famers. Four Hall of Famers in that pack. Still not done yet. We have the pinup. I don't know if that gum's coming off. Mm, let's see who it is, though. Oh. Oh, I'm going to show you. Paul Warfield, who's in our 65 Philadelphia Wax Pack. Gotta be a little gentle here. I used to open them up all the way. I'm not gonna open it all the way. I can't. We'll trust it's Paul Warfield's head and he's diving. There we go. Look at that. That looks cool. Great player. I don't have the pinups up right now. Unfortunately, there's a piece of gum emulsified up there. That's going to affect it. But Paul Warfield, that's a nice pinup. That's getting randomized to somebody right now. Oh, wow. Very nice. Paul Warfield. I wish I can check those pinups real quick. I will. All right, let's randu for the Paul Warfield and a stick of gum. Don't eat the gum. Don't. I ain't gonna touch it. Let's randu two times. Randu two. Here we go. One, two. Brian Z, you get the gum and the Paul Warfield pinup. I'll try to get the gum off front off there for you, but for now. We'll put it in there and we'll deal with it. Let's go right to the re and do for the dividends. Three times for the dividends. Three times Randu. Some pretty nice points here. Three points. Free. Reduces your cost on the next card. Gotta love it. I just rip it back on. Three times. One, two, three. Brian Z, you're a lucky day, my friend. You get 600 points. Ricky Schiffauer, congratulations, 400 points into your account. And Jeremy Melton, 200 points for that very fine pack. Very fine. I mean, you can't only just rip it. We got football magic here. Greasy again. Greasy. Bob Lilly. A very nice Deacon Jones. Very nice Deacon. Who said that Deacon in there, too? Kevin, yep. Donnie, you gotta love it. You gotta love it. It's what it's all about. Like when you're a little kid sitting in the grass in the ant pile, pulling out great football cards, chewing that gum, and Chris Hamburger let off the pack. Great pack. Congratulations, everybody, again on that pack. Still can't understand. I gotta research the Niners really have that jersey. I'll find out. Boom. Yeah, football music brings us some good luck there. Okay, where are we at now? 
88 clear basketball gone. I got to get caught up with the spins. I was so, and so entranced into that pack. Uh, Brian Co. Gets a spin. Brian C. 88 basketball sold out. Okay, we got some spins. We got coming up next our 79 PSA 7 graded, unsearched, and sealed wax pack on deck. And then I'm sure we'll prep up the 88 basketball, which will be gone. But right now, if I need a nice sip. Four Hall of four out of 40% rate of return of Hall of Famers in the 70. We have another one listed up there. 10, there's eight left. Almost like the same pack. Was it a GAI? Yeah. Eight and a half. This is a seven. It could be, it could be from the same box. Maybe now. Got to use a little two and two. Maybe name it. Oh, wait. Let me actually... One glass check on that pack. Was it a series one or two? I think that was a series one. Yeah. All 125. Or maybe it was a combined series. I'll figure it out. Probably a series one. Yeah, series one. Okay. Charles Rector. A drum roll. A roll. He's a new customer, and he's getting some two spins. Here's your first. Good luck. Oh, Charles. Charles. Charles in charge. Hopefully, you made some nice purchases. It's coming your way as a free Just Rip It binder. We'll throw some sleeves in there for you as well. Put your cards in there. You got to take care of these cards. They are packed fresh, and we want them to stay that way. Spin number two, and you can't win the binder twice. One binder's it, one binder max. We don't, you don't need two. Um, that's the rules. That's the bottom line, because the ripper says so. And 250 points. Charles, a nice binder. 250 points gets journaled into your account for future purchases. Jeremy Voss will give you the drum roll. This is, I believe, your third spin, your first one spin of three. Good luck. I think we've had a nice card before. Oh, Jeremy. I, I, I originally had you as two spins, and now you got two spins. Two spins or more if it lands on it again. 250 points on that first free spin, so that's just free. Points add up. People are at 200. No, they add up. They add up. Great reward program here. Jeremy, win number two. 250 points. Hey, 500 points. Right into your account for the next time as well. Brian Co. Let's keep it rolling. That will be the last spin as we open a pack. And we got Donnie Shockey. Donnie S. A free spin coming up. You're on deck. But right now, Brian Co. Here we go. Mr. Co. On your first and only spin. Good luck. Oh, sweetness. 73 tops baseball pack. Very, very nice. That's going to be wild. Wow, we can almost probably rip that open tonight. That should be probably three left. 73 tops baseball. Yeah, those cards are 50. That's a 52 50 value. Babe Ruth, all time leader worth 3,000. Greg Nettles, 11 Hall of Famers. It's a series four. Nice pack there. Should be three left. Three left at 52. That's two spins for any sweeper that's in there. That's looking to close that out. And not always tomorrow. Okay. Brian, good job on that spin. Hopefully you get a nice Babe Ruth or Greg Nettles or a nice graded card out of that pack. Yeah, that's a nice pack. That's with the catcher on there. Seven and a half GAI, graded, unsearched, and sealed. Donnie Shockey will take care of you, but now let's take care of some clerical work here. We got a 79. Tops. Baseball Wax Pack PSA 7. Had the Ozzy Smith last week. And he is worth 30000 in a 10. I mean, it's Ozzy. I, you know, I did not, not the player. It's just he was great. Uh, Pete Rose worth four thousand. Nolan Ryan worth three as they got into the later years. 
I believe there's 12 cards in here, correct? 12 cards. Okay, let's get some new people. Thank you, everybody, again, for that 1970. We have eight left and another one up there. You feel lucky. Great. Uh, you got a nice pack there. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Okay, 79. Let's load these customers into the ran do. Yeah, our next pack on deck is the 88 Fleer Basketball. Coming up next, we got Donnie Shockey with a spin coming up next. But right now, we're going to randomize the list. Eight. Yogi Berra, eight. Eight times on the ran do. And let's ran do it. Eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Don Garrett top and Don Garrett the bottom. All right. And a bunch of guys in the middle there. We'll load you up into the list. Ready to rip. And there we are. Again, we had a great equity pack last week, our 58 football and our 58 charity pack. It's, it's, it's just crazy enough that we had two 58s back to back open. And we pulled not one, but two Jim Browns. One was had a little corner damage. It was a lower grade pack charity pack and the other one had some great cards go watch the rip clip subscribe to our youtube channel give it a thumbs up for us i'm busy enough people calling and asking and they look whoa whoa whoa, whoa. take it easy here it's 1979 oh. subscribe to our youtube channel like us love us love them and leave them you know how it works just get in there makes us feel better Again, a lot of nice comments from a lot of people. Uh, I appreciate it, all the good words. I appreciate the negative feedback from some people out there. You got to have the negative feedback. You got to. That's how it works. They're a little nuts, but. I'm going to put the cards in the penny sleeve. I'm going to put them in. Hand on the cards. I'm like, what the hell? Really? Relax, everybody. Relax here. Yeah. All right, look at that. More plastic. Oh, so square and clean. Okay, coming up next is the 88 Fleer Basketball. Spend $75 or more. Get a free wheel spin, three spin max. If you're new, jump in there. Get involved with a pack. If it sells out tonight, we'll open it. If not, they're falling close to being open tomorrow. We got we go live again tomorrow. We open up as many packs as it is. We'll be here till midnight, or we can be here for 15 minutes, all predicated on packs and the community and what we're doing at the time. Uh, register as a customer, not as a guest, because if you don't register as a customer, you can't get in the promotions and the giveaways. Forget the promotions, the giveaways. People are spending a couple hundred dollars. If you don't register, we're giving out a rip card, we're giving out a Three Stooge card. We have another money in the bank that's filling up quick. We're giving out free entries to anything on the site if you win that. But you got to be in it to win it. So just pay attention to that. If you're new, subscribe to our newsletter. You get 10% off. Uh, and like I said, follow us, like, and share our videos on Facebook and give us the Fonzie. We opened up some Happy Days packs. Give us a thumbs up there. And let's get ready to rip. Let's go 70, 79. And we are looking for the Wizard of Oz. 1979. Let me just get my board loaded up. Good time in sports. College football, pro football. When will the Yankees and Dodgers meet? But I think the Astros have something to say there. How about Big Pappy throwing out the first ball the other day? Big Pappy on the mound. All right. Gets shot, and he's already back on his feet again. That takes care of our 70. 
And let's go. Don Garrett, you are the top card as we open it from the bottom. Very nice pack. Very nice. Wax pack. 12 picture cards. One stick of gum. Good night here tonight. Red hot night again. It just rip it. More cards we grade. Shows we're doing a hell of a job there. Why do I mark the gum? Because people take the gum and they reseal packs and sell them on eBay. They can't do it now. If you get a 79 pack that says Ozzy on it, you lose. Don Garrett, you're up first. Jerry Remy. Red Sox. Nice looking card there. Top card. A little bit of the gum residue in the back. The danger of the top card. But over time, that hits the air. It dries up and basically falls off. Jerry Remy. Card number two. Pascal Kuchel. Kuchel. Ooh, 79 prospects. Danny Darwin, Pat Putnam, and Billy Sample. Going a little black and white on this there, but a nice card. Card number 713. 733 cards in this set. Uh, Rose, Ryan, Stargell, Winfield, Brett, 2,000 or more. Uh, Yount, Munson. It was Munson and Brock's, yeah, last regular season. Munson died that year, and Lou Brock retired. Let me just check something here. 713. Number three, Jeffrey Wright. Oh, we got a Hall of Famer here. Raleigh Fingers. A little OC left right with the Padres. That is card number 390, it looks like. 390. Still had that mustache going. The A's traded him. They probably had enough. Seems like the, all these guys, over they retire, they get sent out to San Diego. Why not? It's nice there. They don't get any arthritis. Their arms are hanging. Whoa. A little off center there. Who is this? Number three. Jeffrey, a little off center. But if it was on center, $630. If it was not off center, has a great, these cards have a great shot out of 10 because they are really in pristine condition. And I say pack fresh, I'm not lying. You saw it graded in a, in, in a case in an unblemished wax pack or wrapper. But nonetheless, Hall of Famer, Raleigh Fingers, we'll take the first one off the schneid there. But like again, best chance to pull a 10 at the centerings there. We got everything else pretty much covered as far as corners, clarity, the edges, whatever else those crazy graders look at. Number four, Donnie Garrett. The Braves team with Bobby Cox. We had a lot of Cox and Cockworths last week. And then we just continue here. It's a male-dominated show. But Bobby Cox Braves team. Card number 302. Not the Bears, but the Braves. Number five, Robert Adams. Welcome. You get, oh, Robert Adams. You get Glenn Adams. How about that? Talk about a little beginner's luck there. Not a Hall of Famer, but same last name. Glenn Adams for Bob Adams. Go on, watch you get smart. Watch a little Don Adams, and you really got everything covered. Number six, Don, Don, Don Garrett. Mike Torres. Yeah, Mike looks happy there. That looks better well centered. 185. Not gonna go over too much of these cards. There's so many. We're basically looking for Hall of Famers or very rare tens. Uh has to be a Hall of Famer like this next guy coming up for Don. Don, you got a Hall of Famer coming here. Why? Look at all the stats. Anybody that plays that long deserves a Hall of Fame. Gaylord Perry. Grandpa Perry. Little OC though there. 3 2 1. Gaylord Perry with the pa again, Padres. I tell you, all, they always lead to the Padres. It's, it's unbelievable. No, no humidity. What's a Gaylord 10? This is not a 10. Eh, 140 bucks. I mean, wow. Wow. That's a, that's a lot of pitching. And they didn't pitch like five innings. They, this guy pitched nine innings every game. 10, 11. They, pit, they pitched till their arm fell off. 
Number eight, Christopher Carucci. Hey, Christopher Carucci. You get Tom Dixon of the Astros. A little bit better centered. Tom Dixon. Cox, Dixon. Uh, I'll tell you, it's just uh, it's, it's, it's bizarre. Number nine, Brian Coe. Hello, Mr. Coe again. Dell Austin. I saw an A. I was getting a little excited about the A's there. Dell Austin A's. Much better centered there. The Dell Austin. Crazy set to put together the 79. Number 10, Charlie Moore. Number 10 is for Don Garrett. Charlie Moore Brewers. Could have used the yount there. But Charlie Moore. Hey, Charlie. There we go. All right. Well, Charlie's getting an extra special woo. 75 mini, only 10 left. Nice. Yep. And we have a 79 wax. Go for the mini cello because that's going to sell out faster. Absolutely. Number 11, Brian Coe. Another Padre. It's a Padre pack. Rick Sweet. Got mustache going on. And number 12, Donnie G. Rick Waits. Looks like he's waiting for a sign from the catcher, but Rick Waits. But not too bad. We got two Hall of Fame pitchers in there. We'll take it for the price entry. If they were centered, Bank money. There's Gaylord Perry, Grandpa Perry, and then we had nice team cards. And there's Wally, Wally Fingers with the Padres. Cool, cool, cool. Joseph Ace's free spin coming up after Donnie Shockey's free spin. Joseph, and I'm putting down Aces. Joe Aces. Okay, let's give out some points. Top three people. Six times on the rain do six. One. Not yet. One, two, three. Four. Five. Six. Christopher Carucci, you get two hundred points. Donnie Garrett, you get second and third, total of 150 for that 79 wax pack with 12 cards in it, in the books. Like I said earlier, we just listed low end, so if you got somebody, you want to get your son involved or something in the action, uh, 1980 solo Ricky Henderson, he wins that. I would compensate that pack as well. Uh, we have a 75 rack up. With Tom Seaver there, and there is a Hall of Famer on the back. That's your gift for watching the show live. And we listed a 77 football, Walter Payton's second year. Good pack. The lower end pack. We got some higher end. We got lower end. We got them all. Only four left. All right, DJ. DJ's giving us some nice updates there. Thank you, DJ. Very nice. I think I'm keeping up with everybody. Good work there. Okay. Wheel spins. Because coming up next is our 88. GAI 88. All right. Where's that one? There's the one. 1988. Donnie Shockey. Wheel spin time. Wheel spin time. Let's hope you get something good. Eighty-two wrestling separate, Donnie. All right, eighty-two. Go check out the cards. Some nice cards there. Free graded card. Just because we're just nice guys. And Joseph Aces, we give you a drum roll for your spin. And here we have it. 85 Tops Wrestling Pack. Okay. All right, Joseph. In case you just... Where'd they go? Oh, hold on. We had a great parade earlier. And in case you just joined us, we pulled a 9 and 8s of Hogan, a 10s worth. Ten's worth some big money. Ten's worth like three hundred dollars, and Hogan's just going higher and higher in value as he makes these appearances. Thank you everybody for that seventy-nine pack. We'll put another one up there, and our quest for Ozzy. And let me just get rid of that pack name for now because the next coming up is, unless something sells out, this will be our last pack of the evening, a nineteen eighty-eight. Clear basketball pack. But, Joseph, you won an 85 Tops wrestling pack. 
And wrestling is going to pick up a little steam. We have these, we give these packs out. We're not doing the wheel. They're great. You get the wrapper, you get eight cards and a nine cards and a sticker. It's just some good stuff. And if you watch wrestling last night, this man came back into the ring. I think they're building up. They're bringing back the old timers, the guys that are still alive in here and some other ones, because they know they want some action. And they, we ought to bring back the old guys because they're just really good. Um, why am I going blind here? Yeah, 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 yeah. They're bringing back this guy last night. He came back. He's all over the TV now, and he's going to come back. He is coming back strong. And Stone Cold, he did something. He did a stunner last night. I don't watch the wrestling. I watched football for six hours last night, but I watched the YouTube clips of the wrestling. 1985, we're looking for the Hulkster. Roddy Piper with a stranglehold on the junkyard dog, JYD. All right, Stone Cold, go have a beer because Joseph aces the Hulk Hogan card. We'll always see top to bottom, but boy, people will buy this thing. Go buy it, Pack Fresh. No gum stains on this one. Card number 16 with some skinny little twerp on the back. That's not Hogan. That's Hulk Hogan, right into a card saver. Little off center, top to bottom. Go check eBay, they sell. People buy them, they love them. Free pack, free Hogan card. Free, the money is free. Free, free, free. It's worth it just to hear that again. Greg the Hammer Valentine. That belt. A good clean champ, Tito Santana. Notice the guys back then? No tattoos. These guys today, you can't even see them. The sticker. Joseph. Lucky night tonight. It's off center, but it's a Hogan sticker. See a little off center there. The Hulk Hogan sticker. Puzzle back with that big claw of his. A sticker. Sticker number one, that's the money one too, wow. Sticker number one of Hogan, little off center. The card could be, it goes into a card saver because it's Hogan. Very nice, Joseph. And we, yes, we get to hear that again. Maybe there's another Hogan, I'll do it all night. Next card, Big John Stud. The big beard. Greg Valentine, that looks like Jimmy Superfly snuck up. He's got his hand up his anus, and I'm sure it doesn't smell good after that shot. Holy shitskies. Mr. Fuji, all fuged up. Another Hogan, off center, punching his glove through. That's Thunderlips right there, through the jukebox. And another Hogan, Joseph. Joseph. Hulk Aces Hogan and the Mean Gene Oakland there. Very nice Hogan sticker. The record for Hogan's, I believe, was six. You got one, two, three. Four Hogan's. Yeah. Wow. You, that was a good wheel spin. Wow. You just don't know. Those go back into the wrapper. I will reseal it. But there's no gum in it, so you know it was already searched. Because we took the Hogan's out, but we put two other cards in there. We seal it up. Look at Hey, got a nice sealed pack here from Granny's Attic. Uncle Eddie passed away and left me this sealed pack. Bull. Doesn't happen. There you go, Joseph, coming out to you. On that wheel spin. Oh, we got some more wheel spins. Wow, people are getting all wild up over the wheel spins. We got John Stansberry. Sounds like a good athlete's name, Stansberry. You get two spins. Okay. We'll do those now. And then we got our last pack, 88, coming up. 
And once again, equity packs, a 65 sell, 65, 64, 65, 66, 67. Philly stole the Topps license. Very rare. Yep, it's Philadelphia. Go research it. Go look it up. Rare cards, Hall of Famers in there. That's a Bowman. Topps having some issues back in the 50s and 60s. Bowman stole that from him. And our granddaddy, he thought the 58 football cello was good. When, when, if we ever pull a Mickey Mantle out of here, the whole studio is just going to just collapse. I, I promise you. And another mantle could be in here in this gigantic GAI seven and a half, 55 Bowman baseball wax pack, nine cards, and a wrapper for the equity pack. Notice the equity packs I'm starting to put wrappers on there. Wrappers add value, and we throw those up in the auction as well to distribute to our equity shareholders. We'll, we'll recycle the plastic. We get every penny out of these packs for our shareholders. Oh, and as you're an equity holder, get a little disgruntled. It takes a little time. We give you dividends every month. They accrue. It's not that much, but it's a little token of our waiting time. Your equity shares are, are, are earning interest in a version of Just Rip It Points. I think that's a very nice gesture. Hats off to the Just Rip It team for doing that for everybody. John Stansberry. Could be our last real rip few real spins here. You got two spins. Crowd's still cheering. Huh? I have to tell the crowd to calm down. Here's your drum roll. Two spins. Here's your first or a free spin. You can get more. Oh, another beautiful JRI binder. And we'll throw some penny sleeves in there. Wow. Very nice. That's your first spin. We only give you one. So if you hit it again, we'll keep spinning. Here's your second spin. Oh, is it a binder or a free spin? Oh, 85 wrestling pack. Here we go. Just when you thought we were winding down the show, Big John gets the wheel of 85 wrestling pro stars. Here we go. 85, man. Woo. I'm telling you, man, 35 years ago, we're all getting old. Some of these guys dropped dead in this pack. Say it. Nice, beautiful wrapper. There's the gum. Beautiful stuff. In case you haven't seen Kurt Angle lately, he's got eight necks. His neck, it looks like, it looks like he got like, like fat. It, 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 I, I can't go over it. Card number one there, John. Welcome to the Ripper community. Roddy Rowdy Piper wearing the kilt, doing his little Scottish, Scottish dance. Over he goes, Paul Orndorff. That looks like Hulk Hogan. I don't know. Tough to see. But look at the backs too. Ringside action. Very nice. Third card, putting on the squeeze. Look at that crotch shot. Woo! Only rip. Look at the crotch shot. Woo! The fabulous Moolah getting neck grinded by right, looks like Wendy Rick there. The referee's going, close those legs, you. Next card up is going for the pin Tito Santana in another provocative sexual position. I don't know. The Iron Sheik putting on the camel clutch. Looks like Tony Gurria. Can't make him out too much. The Iron Sheik with those big boots. He had a little spikes at the end of them. My favorite card, I'll say it all the time, is the late Jimmy Superfly Snooker jumping off the shoulders of the late great Andre the Giant. And the ref's counting him out. Good luck. He's going to fly on somebody. There's another camel clutch. Almost looks like the sticker, but another side version right there. That must hurt. That guy looks like he's in pain. Those guys used to drink in the back. They usually hurt sometimes. Captain Lou. Ho, ho, ho. The late Mean Gene, Junkyard Dog. And we end on going for the midsection. The fabulous Moolah getting a face full of breast assist from Wendy Richter. Good thing they didn't have any Jello wrestling back there. John, nine great cards, a nice sticker, a beautiful wax wrapper. If you're in the wrestling, You'll love it. Keep these. They're all in nice condition. Sorry, no Hogan. We had four of them in the last pack. But that goes out to you. And thank you for 
joining us here at Just Rip. Okay, let's move on to our 88 clear. I got it loaded up already. Let's get the names in the randu. We will randu three times. Three. Three. One. Two. Three. Brian Cope. Top and bottom. Top and bottom. Top and bottom. That probably means you got the sticker. I get confused with the stickers at the top or the bottom. We got the 86, 87, 88. 86 Jordan, that Jordan base card is, we have it up there, probably not that many left, but that Jordan 86 Fleer basketball, oh, are we due for one of those? 40,000 I thought one just sold for. Uh, they just, I don't know if they're being recycled or what, but boy, that is one heck of a card, and we could have it as well as the sticker. Not that many left in that one. Where are we at here? 88 Fleer it was. One more Chukaruski here. Nineteen eighty eight. Stickers up there as well. Stickers very valuable in this pack as well. It's just down to the centering. The gum is usually very well preserved with extra powdered sugar. Uh, there is no one or two, like we say, a bird or Mark McGuire. You get a ten in those. The probably the best Jordan. There is a couple of tens. Last one sold for nine thousand. Uh, Ewing three thousand. Wilkins four thousand. They're up there, but no bird or Aguirre in the ten, which makes that card. You get it, and it's a ten or a bird. Let's get it going. I'm just putting up some pricing over here, and let's get it ripping. We gotta get some ripping here. Wow, another. Get the Ripper Clipper. There's not that much plastic here tonight. Well, rest assured, we'll get some plastic flying tomorrow. We're about to open up here at JustRipIt.com, a GAI 8 wax pack, clear basketball, 12 cards and a sticker. Well, let's get ready to rip. Oh, and I still got that. Well, got that fever, and the only prescription is more ripping. We're going live again tomorrow. So go in there. I spend a lot of time researching the packs, trying to keep the, keep the prices up to date and what we have to do. And pick your favorite card, your childhood pack, your favorite player. Look for your favorite team. Complete the set. Boom, 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 boom. We have another spin there? Oh, Charles Rector. Okay. Charles, Charles, Charlie. Charlie Rector. Okay, we'll open the pack and we'll do Charlie's spin in case there's some more action. Let's get ready to rip. Brian Co. top and bottom. Probably means you're getting the sticker. I get them confused. They flip flop them. Ooh, nice one. A lot of gum here. Brian Co. Did he just say Michael Jordan? Oh, two weeks in a row. Michael Jordan, base card. Just a little bit of gum residue, but it falls off once it hits the air after 32 years of being suffocating in that pack. But it's Michael, Ryan Coe. A nice woo to you too. Michael Jordan, 
And there's the back, little OC, but hey, we don't ever complain about Michael Jordan, ever. Our second one in six days. So somebody give me a, you gotta give me a hell yeah. Nice job there, Brian, right off the top of the pack. Rather see it in the middle there. There's a little bit of, like I said, a little bit of gum stuff on there. Gum kind of broke up a little. But it was secured in there, and it's been in this pack since 88. And you unlocked it. Good job. Michael Jordan, again. We'll take it. A little bit of gum there, I believe, once it hits the air. Yeah, a little fingernail. Come off. It probably just falls off. Michael Jordan. Very nice. Let's keep it going. Card number two, John St. Martin. Roy Hinson. Roy Hinson, somebody's face right under his nostril. We'll keep Mr. Jordan right there. Number, oh, what am I doing? Just want to get all Jordan up here. Tell you, sneakers are still going strong, Nike. They still are. Gotta go buy a pair of myself. Number three, John St. Martin. You get Larry Nance. Larry Nance with a couple of fans photobombing the shot in the background. Nice, Jordan. Yep, Roy. Yep, I'm reading everybody's comments. Damiani. Yep, what year is this pack? This is an 88 Fleer basketball. 1988 Fleer basketball. The Jordan card, uh, just so we know, just for research, for education purpose, over 500 in attendance. Card number 17. The top card. Wait, let me wait. Hold me a second. The third best card in the set. First one is Michael Jordan All Star, six hundred dollars, but they, they fluctuate in price. Uh, Clyde Drexler over five hundred, Miller, Pippen, and Rodman over four hundred each. He's the most valuable, third most valuable, three way tie for that first place, and he has the most valuable sticker in there as well. Number four, Gary Marks. You get Gerald Wilkins. Gerald, that looks like a little bit, a lot better centered uh, than the prior two cards. Gerald Wilkins. Nicker Bockers. Card number five, Derek Harper. Mavericks. Derek Harper, card number five for Gary Marks. Nice, thick, beautiful cards. Nice and thick and beautiful. Number six, Gary Marks. Again, a little streak here. Eddie Johnson. Eddie Johnson of the Suns. Again, beautiful, unblemished backs. For these Fleer. Fleer dominated the basketball sets in these late 80s. Number seven, Gary Marks again. Blaine Rasmussen. Blaine Rasmussen. It's like Mark Cuban. But we know Mark Cuban was developing YouTube probably at the time. He's getting ready to make a fortune. Number eight, Charles Rector. Terry Porter. He's giving the horns to somebody there. As a play or he's in a rock concert, he's giving somebody the horns. But Terry Porter, nice card. Beautiful corners again. Terry Porter, fourth year, the Blazers. Boy, it would be nice if there's a Jordan sticker on top and bottom. I've heard that before. Let's keep our fingers crossed there. Number nine, Brian Coe, or Jordan Puller. You get Bill Lambeer, the bad boy Bill Lambeer. Card number 42, a big, bad Bill. Lambeer. Is he in the Hall of Fame? I'm not even sure. Let me see something here, here, there. I don't think he's in the hall. No, he just beat the hell out of everybody. He ain't going in the hall of fame. He's just the big thug on the court. But they needed him. Every team had a thug. Rambus, Rodman, do all this. Number 10, where are we at? Number 10, Keith Bray. Keith Bray, welcome. That's a new name. I love seeing new names. Uh, we pulled for you as well. There's Walter Perry going up against, looks like James Worthy of the, Net, of the Lakers, and he was traded to New Jersey. San Antonio to Jersey. Ah. Number 11, Ralph Sampson, Virginia Cavalier product. Great player there, Ralph Sampson. Many good years. The Warriors there. Coming up, card number 12, Gary Marks, the X-Man. That is Xavier McDaniel, the X-Man for the Sonics. 
Again, great card, great condition. Beautiful. And the sticker, Brian Coe, or Jordan. It's not Jordan, but wow, you get we said there's no tens of Mark McGuire. And there, and there's one there. I can see it looks a little, a little off. So that's why there's no tip. Boy, we, you pull a 10. I'm going to go off the record and say it beats Jordan. But wow. Rare, Mark Aguirre, no 10s. But there he is, that close. You get him a little more straightened out there. That would have been a great compliment to the Jordan card. Mark Aguirre. Yeah, I can see it. So you can see off center. It's hard to see on the camera. But hey, we'll take it. You'll take that sticker. It was a good little rush there because if it was a 10 in Mark Aguirre, you're running to the bank and just putting this on the shelf a little bit. But we did pull another. Michael Jordan, our second one. Doesn't mean we can pull another one later tonight, tomorrow. It, all our packs are random. They're all over the place. That makes it great. Uh, it's beautiful. And that's fantastic. Hi, nice to meet you guys. Dallas? Dallas Massey, welcome to the Rip It community. Came a little late. We're almost winding things down. We just pulled a beautiful Michael Jordan. We had a 70s pack that the fever was going strong. Four Hall of Famers in a 70 football pack. It was really, really cool. Uh, let's randomize the dividends. And then we got Charles Rector's wheel. Dividend time. Let's randomize it five times for the dividends. One, two, three, four, five, five. Gary Marks, 200 points. Brian Coe, add 150 points to your beautiful, beautiful Michael Jordan card and your Mark McGuire sticker and a couple other guys you got in there. Great work there. A little bonus here. I'm going to give out a 1970, 80, something like that. Let's randomize it five times. We're going to give out this. Open up. Let everybody see. Some nice NBA cool stickers. Let's go five. One, two, three, four, five. John St. Martin, congratulations. This is your pack. Let's open it up for everybody so you can see some cool NBA logos back from, I think it was 1978, maybe. Cool stuff here. Cool stuff. Clippers. Nice stickers, the Sixers, Suns, that beautiful Hawk, Dominique Wilkins, you think of that. That nice Rocket logo, and the Portland Trailblazers, some nice stickers. He, if you have a son, just put him on his notebooks for school. Cool stuff. That's what I used to do. That goes out to John St. Martin. It's a little complimentary gift because we pulled a Jordan, and we just like to just keep pouring it on there. Okay. Charles Rector, you're up. Turn up the volume. Can everybody hear me? Check, 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 check. Got to check that volume out. Okay. A couple times we heard that. We will fix that, I promise, for next week. Uh, Charles Rector, you're up on the wheel of rip. Good luck. We'll give you a drum roll. And here is your rip. Two hundred and fifty points, almost the seventy-three tops baseball pack. Very nice, Charles. We'll put those points in your account. You can go check out the site for more goodies. There, uh, we have a promotion. Any non-sport? Uh, let me give a good rundown here. Not uh, money in the bank is down to thirty. That's going fast. You get a one one winner out of fifty gets a free card or equity pack of their choice. Non-sport giveaway. Only two spots left. Spend 65 or more tonight or tomorrow or preach during the show. We will randomize this. Ten people. One person gets a shot. Probably worth about $50 to $100 this card. It's a nine mint of the Stooges. You can keep it. You can flip it. It is a puzzle back. It's a nice little card there. Our other rip. As soon as these sell out, we'll put more up. Any box break. 15 people. One person walks away with CC Sabathia. We will rip it. Could be something really valuable in there. Only seven left as well. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody. Yeah, check out some packs that are up there. They're winding down. We added some new up there. Be patient. We added so many new packs. They're all watered down. They're all getting shipped away. I have to say, we had a very successful week last week with our equity pack. Like and share our videos. I think that's very important as well. Uh, we go live again tomorrow. Look for some more promos. 
Uh, everything else that falls in line here, it just rip it. Uh, it concludes our live broadcast. We kept it about two hours, which is great. Check out our website for those new boxes, packs. The 75 rack is slowly dwindling down, and the giveaways are piling up. And thank you, everybody, for helping us dig up card, board, treasure. Like and share our videos. And like I always say at the end of the show, there is a pack fresh gem mint 10 out there somewhere. And you know what? I promise I'll help you find it. Here's Charlie the Ripper taking a sipper. We'll see you tomorrow night.